Hey guys, I'm making a video of how to care for dubia roaches. And so, for dubia roaches, you're going to need some things to feed them. And what you're going to want to feed them is some, like, dubia roach chow. You could, you can make your own or buy some. I suggest making your own. If uh, you have some dog food, you can mash up some dog food. You can mash up dog food if you have dog food but if you don't have dog food you can maybe get a big bag of it and that will last you very long so what you could use for yours you could add, have some corn so you could have some corn in it you could have what else you just need to add calcium and mainly I use dog food but you could go ahead and like be adventurous, try to make your own that doesn't use dog food, but I suggest using dog food because it's really high in nutrients. And also add some calcium into there. And that way when you add calcium, you do be roach roaches, uh, I mean like your beauty dragons, you won't need to put uh, calcium on your doobie roaches and then to drink, they need drink too, so you need some water gels. So you could get a bunch of these. These will be last me maybe like three weeks. One of these big bags. Yeah, one of these. Just get like a juice bucket or soda can and fill it with words. Yeah, here we go. Fill it right here. See, like this much, like a tiny pinch of it, like like some salt, like. A tiny bit of it, like a tiny, tiny bit of like a like maybe like a handful. Like, I'll show you. like this much, maybe even less. Yeah, less than this, less than this will get you all of this and. Look how much is in here. Look how much is in here. That's a lot. That's a lot in there. And then these I got at Home Depot in the garden section. They're water storing crystals. I got them for like this big old bag for maybe $9. And I've had this for maybe like four months now. This big bag and it's barely halfway so yeah but there's that tiny bit a tiny bit will get you that big this many water crystals so yeah and then you're just gonna want to put the water crystals in and put some water in it will be good so it's real easy to make the food and get the water gels so let's start oh and for the doobie roach shell you can also put some fish flakes in here but if you don't want their food to smell, don't put it in. Just telling you, these fish flakes absolutely smell. So I guess we'll start from the beginning of Doobie Roach. Okay. So starting off with baby Doobie Roaches. So baby Doobie Roaches are in here. These are my babies and feeders. They start out at this size. Okay, can you see that? This size. There's some in here. They're really small. Let me get a super baby. I'll get a newborn for you guys. That way you guys can see like when they first get babies. So if you're gonna breed doobie roaches, when you get babies, you'll get about 30, hold on. Shoot, right here. Focus. Okay, look, see, see this? You see these? You'll get maybe about, on average, you'll get like 20 to 35 of these from one female. 
And if you have a lot of females and a good male to female ratio, you'll get a lot. And these are like newborn and probably got these maybe four days ago. They were born. Probably. Look, that's really small. And then a couple of months later, let's see. And then, look, see, I've been breeding for maybe three months now, three, four months. I already have all these babies, but I still need these to grow up. Okay. This big, yeah. You get about, and then, uh, you get about 30 to 40 females, and 30 to 40 babies from each female, and each female can breed about once every month and one just got out so say if you get you have even if you're really starting you have 10 females and you have two males you're still gonna get you a lot of babies a month but i suggest you get like you start off buying a, more like a lot of breeders that will get a lot more and you'll just and right now, I'll say maybe I have about 300 babies, and so for the bowl, food bowl, you could just get a plastic, like, Chinese cup, like, like a Chinese bowl that you get, cut it off, and make a little hole that way they could go inside, a little hole that way they could go inside it, and get easy inside. And then you could do the same thing for the water gels. The little Chinese plastic food bowl. It could be any type. So yeah, I'm go ahead and close the door behind me. Okay. And then for the tubs, you don't need a big old tub. This is a small tub. Maybe maybe 12, 14 inches, like you got Walmart for like $10. It's cheap, and this, this is a good size if you're just like in a room and don't kind of go in like huge on Dubio, which is like breeding a lot of them and selling them for money. You're going to want to make holes so on the top so they can breathe, but not too many because you want to keep it nice and humid in there. And you're also going to want some on the back to keep them in. And I keep them in here. It's dark. It's nice and dark. So that way they can't see. 